Hi guys, it's Ruby from RS Fitness and today we have day 4 of 12 Days of Fitness. Today is an ab burnout so we've got 5 minutes of non-stop ab workout. Let's go. So all you're going to need today is a little bit of space, no equipment at all. So let's take it on down to the floor and we're going to start with crunches. We've got 30 seconds here, I want you to focus on crunching up and then stretching out as you roll that back into the mat. So make sure that you've got enough space to move your whole body about. We're going to be breathing out on the way up and in on the way down. If it feels too hard with your hands behind your head, you can put your hands over your chest. Or to make it even harder, take your hands overhead. You decide what level you're at. For three, two, one. Then we're going to put our hands underneath our lower back, relax that head back. And we're going to take our legs all the way up and all the way down. Now rather than speed here, I want you to focus on control. So you're taking your feet just centimetres off the floor before pulling it back up. It's that pull up movement that's really going to help strengthen your core. 10 more seconds here. And control that breathing. So here we're starting to work the lower part of the abs for two and one and stand yourself up. So we're going to start in a standing position, walk ourselves all the way out, we call this position an extended plank, squeeze and then move back up, reach the ceiling before repeating. Squeeze and hold before taking it back and all the way back up. Squeeze and hold. So this position is great for you to work your stability. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and then we're going to take it into hover plank, which is on our elbows. So we can either hold in this position either on the toes or on the knees, you decide at where you're at. Or from here we can make it a little bit harder with some hip taps. So moving through your toes, onto the sides of your feet, dipping your hip down to the floor before squeezing it back up. So this is just going to make it a little bit harder. Put more pressure on your obliques down the side of your abs. And then we're taking it straight back onto our back. For the last exercise in this round, she's going to be reaching to the opposite toe. So this is a combination of your crunch and your leg lower. So we're going to reach up and touch the opposite toe, breathing out on the way up, as we did with the crunch. This is a great exercise by, com by joining the combination of the crunch and the leg lower. So we're working both upper and the lower abdominals. So carry on with that deep breath as we move through to round two. So we're going to keep the same exercises, you're just going to perform them a little bit faster and a little bit better this time. Back to crunches in three, two, one. Take those legs in and hands either on the temples, across the chest or above the head. You decide at what level you're at. Here we have also got a variation Now legs are in tabletop. So you're just thinking about pushing your lower back into the floor, making those abs work even harder. Again, you decide what level you feel like you're at. Two, one, and then we're going straight back into those leg lowers. So hands go underneath the bottom of the back. If this is too much with a very straight leg, you can bend these legs slightly, and this is your option for this exercise. The straighter your leg, the longer the lever, the harder this is going to be. Now remember here that we are thinking about control and not about speed. It's about how low and how slow you can take those legs down rather than how fast you can pull them back up. We're going to take it straight back up onto our feet and take it back into ab walkout. So remember we're hitting that extended plank as we did last round. This time we're just moving a little bit quicker. So take that speed and take that energy all the way through for these next seven seconds of this exercise. For three, two, one, and then take it straight down into our hover plank position. Remember we can just hold here or on our knees. Making sure that you think about sucking up through your core Think about pulling up through your back and relaxing through your shoulders. Or we can add in those hip twists to make this a little bit harder. If you feel ready for that, of course. For five, four, 
three, two, one, and then heading straight over to your back. For our last exercise, back to tapping the opposite foot. Again, if this feels too much, or you're feeling too tight down the back of this leg, then go with a bent knee here. We think of pulling in through the core, sucking that belly button up to the spine. For three, two, and one. And there we have our day four of our 12 days of fitness. I do hope you've all enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this ab workout and are looking for an ab burn to put into your workouts, then we do have an ab carve on RS Fitness On Demand, which will be linked below. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends so they can join in with our 12 days of fitness. I'll see you tomorrow for day five.